Hello friends, I'm Ranjit here, back again after a short break. So if you remember, my last video was regarding how to create a custom workflow activity. And if you remember, it was all related to creating a contact using a workflow, custom workflow. And we have triggered it from an account record on demand basis. But let's assume when we are creating a contact, we need to pass some parameters and use the values from the parameters within our workflow. How to do it? And also, we want some data out of this workflow for our future steps in the same workflow. How to do it? So CRM is by default giving an option to use input arguments and output arguments. The input arguments and output arguments can be of different types. To start with, let us have the basic string arguments to be passed in. So let's take a scenario here to execute. When we create a contact for an organization or for an account in terms of CRM, let's assume that the business phone number is going to be a constant. Even though it is constant, the administrator wants it to be configurable. Okay, So that they don't have to come back every time in the custom code and change it. So they want it to be configurable. Also, as soon as a contact is being created or as soon as this particular workflow is executed, they want a welcome message to be sent to the contact with their business phone number so that they can pass it on to the other partners. So what our custom workflow we are going to extend in our custom workflow is we are going to add one input parameter and another output parameter. Okay, both are of type string. We will get into the details of other data types uh, after we test this and after we have a good grip on the basic stuff. Okay, so let's start with just outside our execute method, we will add a tag called input. Okay, and in this input, it accepts a parameter which is going to be the name. Right. Okay. So this is going to be the string. What we want it in the what what we want it in the as the input parameter of the custom activity. And this exactly the same string is going to appear in our configuration screen. So just remember, I'll show you there. Now we will take in the in argument. In argument. This is the input argument. Okay. And here it is going to be the type. And we are going to use our basic type and we will just give a meaningful name and we will give the set get set properties so now our input argument is ready so similar way we will have our output as well so in output we will have our welcome message the similar way to our input argument we will also have something called out argument where we also have the option to define what is going to be the data type and let's define it as fine so this is how we are setting our input and output argument in a custom workflow so now once we have defined it now next what our next step is to be how to use it so let's say by default telephone one is our business phone so how to assign whatever the data has passed so if you see this is the business phone which we have defined on the top we are getting the value out of it so what is the type it is string and we will pass in our contact because from the context is what we are going to take our business phone number next then what we will do is we will just have a message ready okay so our message is nothing but contact john smith is created 
he is assigned with business phone ideally we could have assign the business phone number to a string actually but now we are ready we have a message now so we will have this message just after our contact has been created okay so our message is going to be message dot set we are setting the message here so we will have our context comma and our message are we good so if you see here what we did in line number 28 we have a telephone one or in our display name the business phone number has been set based on whatever data we have passed in and also we have we are passing back a message to the next step of the workflow now what we will do is we will build this workflow it is successfully built and we will register this so ideally i am using a different organization that is why i have to re-register it otherwise we could have just updated it so if you see here this is getting registered to the our organization as you see the new plugin has been registered so as soon as the plugin is been registered what is our next step so we will go to the processes and we will create a new workflow just the similar way how we created last time the category will be workflow and similar way it will be an account account entity this is going to be run on the background so we don't have to be rushing or we need or don't need to this to be the synchronous process as you can see we are here again we are setting it as on demand process because we would like to for the demo purpose we would like to trigger the workflow on demand or just like the way how we want so we don't have to start it or every time a new record is being created the next is what we will do is we will add a new step here so if you see my custom workflow activity is here and we will put a okay now where we are going to set or configure our business phone we do have an option called set properties here click on that as soon as you click on that you will see it. so you remember this right this is exactly the same string which we have given in our input so that will come here as well let me say 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 this is going to be my phone number and i am going to save this okay now as a next step what we want to do is we want to create a new record create an email for the for the account so let's say in the set properties what we will do is let us put our you see here our welcome message has come here so what we'll do or let's uh, uh, the sub the description or the matter of our email let it be whatever we are passing it from our previous step so let's just name it as welcome message and let's put our from field b uh, let's say from the owning user we'll set it from the owning user and let the two p let it be primary contact this is just anyway sample so it doesn't matter so or we will be concentrating more on what is the impact of input and output so let's save this and let's activate it so these are all the simple steps which we have gone through in the last video 
So now it is ready and if you see there are no process sessions available right now. But for that what we will do is we will go to our contact and inside the contact what we will do is we will run a workflow. So our custom workflow is listed here. So what we will do is we will click on add. We will confirm it. So as soon as we confirm, you can see here a new session has started. That means our workflow is running now and it got succeeded. So we will come back to the, if you see, see, contact John Smith is created and he is assigned with business phone. So and so this is the email message which we have created and click on that here it is both our welcome message but if you see this is the main part you can see here right this is the number which we have passed and now let us go back to the contact and see whether the contact is being created John Smith and his business phone you see this is something which we have passed or which we have configured there that has been used to create the contact John uh, John Smith. So this is how we use our custom workflow. So just to uh, just for your information, so similar way we can use other data types as well. So let's say we want to set the manager for the contact by default. How we will do? So managers is ideally uh, it is going to be a, another contact or a, another user, right? So in that case. Uh, what we may need is a reference target. So a reference target is going to be, uh, let's say if it is a contact, we will need to give the entity name, or the logical name of the entity which we are going to refer. In argument and here it will be entity reference. So similar way and when we are setting it up here, uh, this is just um, just for your information. We are doing, let's say, let's assume there is a field called manager and we will entity reference and we can pass in our, so it will be a contact and we may have to use a GUID. So this is how we are going to, oh sorry, so this is, uh, we are supposed to use uh, whatever we are passing. So get entity reference and from the context we will take it. So the similar way, n number of parameters we can use and we can make our custom workflow dynamic in nature and which is easily configurable for an administrator instead of coming back again and again to the code to make the changes. So this way, so this is again catchy like let's say we are going to use a URL in our application. Let's assume we are sending a welcome mail and we want to put in our URL to our organization. It may change, right? So at that point of time, we can have a custom workflow here. So these are some of the configurable uh, things in a, in a real business scenario. There are a lot of scenarios which can come, which we need the workflows to be configurable. So at those point of time, this input parameters and output parameter is going to be really helpful for us. I hope you understood the concept here. You can try it out and please let me know your uh, feedback on how the experience was. Uh, in a real time using input and output parameters in a custom workflow activity. Thank you guys. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you once again. Have a good day.